This is Patrick back from the 8tracktapestore.com and what we're going to talk about now is a very common problem that you'll uncover when opening a cart and that is uh, what's called a wedding cake condition. So all of these carts have uh, wedding cakes we call them and uh, a wedding cake is basically two layers of tape. You can see, if, maybe if I turn this a little bit like that, that some of the inner loops have risen up above the rest of uh, the tape and it's created a second layer of loops here in, in the center. So you have a bottom layer and a top layer and that's why they call it a wedding cake. Um, these are, these, th this problem is very common on uh, these Warner style carts. This is not a Warner cart and it has a wedding cake. So it's not just the Warner carts, but if we open a Warner card, I'm actually surprised these days not to find a wedding cake. It's a very common problem. Um, there's a plastic cover here on this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's a guide that's meant to prevent wedding cakes from happening. And maybe they do, but it didn't work on this one. Um, so anyway, uh, the fix for wedding cakes is very simple. Uh, we just want to uh, understand the loops. So what we do, this wedding cake is um, the normal kind where uh, the lead is going out from the outside of the top layer. And we just take these loops off just like that. We throw them off over our shoulder. And this was a very short wedding cake. You can see there's only three or four loops. Um, the loops that uh, we just threw off came from the center of the bottom layer. And so we're going to tighten this a bit to get the tension back to normal. And that's about right. And then the way we put these loops on is... Uh, from the center is how we do it. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. It's actually five loops. And now this wedding cake is fixed. There's a lot of other stuff that needs to be done to this card, obviously. It needs, it needs a pad. It needs cleaned. It needs a spacer in here. But that's how we fix uh, that wedding cake. And that was a very simple one. Uh, this one's going to be a little longer. Um, so I'm going to do basically the same thing. This wedding cake is coming out of the outside of the top layer. And I'm just going to throw those loops off. And that's maybe, I don't know, 15 loops. We're going to tighten uh, the gap that was in the center where those loops came from originally. And that's about right. And then we're just going to throw them back on. I, we, we prefer to turn from the center like this and put the loops back on the center. That allows us to keep tension uh, in the center appropriately. Some people just wind, wind the, uh, the tape and put the loops back on uh, from the outside. It's not our preference. Okay, let's see, where are we? So we've got that, I'll put that back on, straighten that out, put these center loops back on, and eventually you're going to have a straight tape. Move these loops over, I'm gonna bunch them up in the center. And this should probably finish the job. Looks like I've got just two loops left. Um, maybe there were three. And that's how we do it. And you can see there's some extra tension here. And the way we're going to get rid of that extra tension is by loosening from the inside. So I took a loop off, put it back on. Took a loop off, put it back on. And eventually... Uh, we're just going to finish the job that way. We will throw this outside uh, lead back over the post that it was on. Tighten a little bit. 
And so that's how we get rid of the wet end cake. Lots more to do with this tape, obviously. Um, now let's talk about uh, a stickier problem. This is a wedding cake, but it's an inverted wedding cake. So instead of the loop, uh, sorry, the lead coming from the outside of the top layer, it's actually coming from the inside. And so it's gotten pinched in there by the other loops that uh, formed in the top layer. Um, these are not as common, uh, but they can be problematic. Um, sometimes the, this gets wedged in so tightly that it's really hard to free. You can uh, maybe use a tool and try to get under the tape, lift it up. Uh, usually you can just use your fingers and pinch the entire top layer and just pull it up like that. All right, And you can see this tape is damaged in here because it did get pinched. That's what happens with inverted wedding kicks. So that's going to take some ironing. Um, now there's a key part. Instead of just throwing this uh, over your shoulder, you have to unwind this from the inside of the loop. So I'm going to take these loops out from the inside all the way until we have no more top layer, and there it is. And then from that point, it's the same process I showed you before with the normal linen kick. We're gonna tighten, get all the extra um, slack out of the tape, and then we're just gonna continue to turn and turn and turn, just like we did with the last tape. Um, we don't need to finish that, but there was some ironing to do, which is very common with um, a wedding cake that's inverted like this one was. All right, so this is Patrick. Hope you enjoyed this tape. This is the 8 tape